This is a demonstration on how to use the Tex Ankle Rehab and Wrist Rehab Isokinetic Machine. Start by adjusting the clutch key which is found just under the pump. You can then choose what ankle piece you would like to use. For the first exercise demonstration we're going to use the dorsi and plantar flexion ankle piece which is found on the storage rack section just on the side of the machine. Once the ankle piece is secured and in place, adjust the machine around to the position that you would like to execute the exercise. Place your foot inside the ankle attachment and secure the strap as tight as possible to minimise any foot movement. At this point you're ready to start exercising and you should be ready to go into the plantar and dorsiflexion movements. In this case you can see that the dials are set very light so the movement is very quick. From there we'll change the left side dial of the resistance setting making the plantar flexion movement much more difficult. We'll now adjust the right side dial making the dorsiflexion movement much more difficult to be in line with the plantar flexion movement. With the manual dial resistance you're able to change the resistance on opposing movements. As a trainer or a therapist the options are virtually endless with what type of dials and resistance settings you would like to choose. Once you've finished exercising, simply remove your foot from the ankle attachment and you can remove the entire attachment by unscrewing the pin and attaching the inversion, eversion ankle attachment. To set up the inversion eversion attachment, tilt the clutch key back to around 35 to 45 degrees. Adjust the machine around to where the patient is sitting and put the foot again into the ankle attachment. Start by setting your dial adjustments and complete the movements of inversion and eversion. It's really important with this movement you keep your knee stable to minimise the rocking at the ankle joint. The other attachment found on this machine is the wrist attachment. Set the wrist attachment to the machine that allows you to exercise, pronation and supination. You can adjust the dials to make it, again, really heavy on one side and really light on the other, making free movement, or adjust it to be really heavy on either side to get maximum contraction with a specific movement. To perform extension flexion through the wrist, adjust the clutch key back to a neutral position, adjust the dial resistance and begin with extension and flexion movement. 